Only 9% of plastic gets recycled. The rest, you won't believe it. Have you ever thrown something in the bin and thought, well, that's gone forever? Spoiler alert, it's not. Your trash doesn't just disappear, it goes on a journey. A journey filled with conveyor belts, bulldozers, fire, sorting machines, and sometimes rats. But where exactly does it go? Who's handling it? And why is this invisible industry one of the most important and problematic systems in the world? Let's dive into the trash can to explore what really happens to your garbage once it leaves your site. The life of trash. An average person throws away over 1.5 kilograms of waste every day. Multiply that by billions of people and you've got a global mountain of trash piling up. The moment you toss something into a bin, whether it's a banana peel, an old t-shirt, or your latest Amazon box, it enters one of three main streams, landfill, recycling, or compost. In cities, municipal trucks collect waste, often starting in the early morning. It's then taken to what's called a transfer station. Think of it like a middleman warehouse for trash. From there, it's sent to a materials recovery facility, a landfill, or an incinerator, depending on its type and local infrastructure. But here's the thing. Even though you might separate your recycling perfectly, it doesn't guarantee it actually gets recycled. The recycling illusion. Recycling feels like the hero of the story, but in reality, it's complicated. Materials like aluminium and certain plastics like PET are relatively easy to recycle, but contaminated items such as greasy pizza boxes or plastics with food residue often ruin entire batches. Recycling plants use lasers, magnets, and air jets to sort through mountains of materials. But the process isn't perfect. In fact, only about 9% of plastic ever produced has actually been recycled. The rest, landfills, incineration, or worse, oceans. And what about your carefully washed yogurt cup? If it's not economically viable to recycle it, it may still end up as a landfill waste. Landfills out of sight, out of mind. Landfills are where most trash ends up. Modern landfills are highly engineered systems. They're lined with plastic and clay to prevent leakage, and they monitor methane gas, which builds up as organic waste decomposes without oxygen. But landfills are ticking time bombs. They're responsible for a significant portion of methane emissions, a greenhouse gas far more potent than CO2. They also take up valuable land and, in many countries, disproportionately affect low-income communities. Worse still, landfills are often treated as a solution, when really they're just a symptom of a much bigger issue. Overconsumption. Burning trash. Incineration and waste to energy. In places where land is scarce, like, like Japan or parts of Europe, waste is often burned. This process is called incineration of waste to energy. Here's how it works. Trash is fed into a giant furnace, and the heat it produces is used to generate electricity. Sounds like a win-win, right? Sort of. While incineration reduces waste volume by up to 90%, it comes with emissions. Modern facilities filter out harmful toxins, but they're still controversial. Burning plastic, for instance, releases carbon dioxide. And the energy gain doesn't always offset the environmental cost. It's still considered the lesser evil, especially when compared to overflowing landfills. The global waste trade. For decades, wealthy countries ship their waste overseas, often to countries in Southeast Asia, to be sorted, recycled, or dumped depending on what was cheaper. This created a booming and often exploitative global waste trade. But in 2018, China banned most foreign waste imports. That sent shockwaves through the recycling world. Suddenly, countries like the US, UK, and Australia had nowhere to send millions of tons of plastic and paper. 
Other nations like Malaysia and Indonesia became new dumping grounds until they started pushing back too. Now, many countries are being forced to face the reality of their own waste. A harsh wake-up call. The future of waste. So what now? Is there a better way? Yes, but it involves rethinking the entire system. Circular economies, where products are designed to be reused, repaired, or recycled indefinitely, are gaining traction. Zero waste lifestyles, composting, and product as a service models are slowly becoming more mainstream. Tech is also stepping in. AI powered sorting robots, plastic eating enzymes, and blockchain based waste tracking are being developed to increase efficiency and transparency. But the biggest solution? Producing less waste in the first place. <laughs>